one thing you need to do before you start your service is make sure you know what you need to do, how you need to do it, and you have all your supplies. Now, I have both manuals, one for each rig, laid out. Uh, I've marked everything inside of it up to this point that shows what needs to be done. Uh, also, these notebooks that you see, the, the green one and the black one over there uh, for the respective rigs, uh, they're actually a list of every time we fill up with fuel, uh, how many gallons it took, what the mileages were, and major changes, uh, modifications, like I wrote down in there when the tires were put on. Uh, as things are done, we just make a note of it in there, like I'll note in there that we did the service at this mileage. They're kind of a, a running uh, history of what was done without specifics and details. And then in the manual itself, where it has kind of these service coupons, I write down, you know, check off what was done, what we found, and any additional things that we did there. Like here's the, the rig book for the tourist. Uh, you can see over here when I did the 12,468 kilometer service was on January the 26th. Um, you can see at 12,966, I put the new K28 tires on. On May 10th of 2016 is when I did the 15,900 mile or kilometer service and, uh, you know, details about that. And now I'm doing the 17.5. Now the patrol took a rock in one of its, uh, in the sidecar front lens, the amber section. And... Uh, I ended up buying the whole assembly for like 35 bucks or something from Hollow Paul Ural. Uh, of course, I have the two oil filters that I need and plenty of oil for the rigs. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today on this nice rainy Saturday here in Georgia. It's, it's hot and rainy, so <laughs> just have to see how it goes. So the first thing I've done is drain the oil out. Now I'm going to be changing the engine oil and the transmission oil. The transmission has 5,000 miles on it. A little early, but I, I wanted to go ahead and do it. Uh, specifically, we're going to be taking a longer trip and I don't want the uh, maintenance interval to fall in the middle of that trip uh, is one issue. Uh, but the other one is, is after 5,000 miles or so, I felt like it was time to take the plug out and see what kind of swarf had built up. Now, the last time the engine oil was changed was roughly 5,000 kilometers ago because I converted over to the spin-on oil filter. And the transmission, uh, it was changed right after I got it, so it's had the full roughly 8,000 uh, kilometers on the change there. And since I'm doing them both at the same time, I wanna make sure when I pull the plugs out, I don't get them mixed up and I know which one is which. Uh, so that I can see what kind of swarf is on there. Otherwise, I don't know which one I'm looking at. But you can see both of them there. The one on the left is the engine. The one on the right is the transmission. The one on the left, uh, I, I'm happy about it. Uh, it's, it's perfectly clean. I see hardly any, uh, any swarf on it at all. Let me see if I can turn this around here. There we go. That's out of the transmission. And we've got, not bad really. I mean, there, there is some swarf on there, but that's not actually all that bad. It's just a little bit. And then the engine, you can see, is virtually clean. There's just a tiny, tiny bit on there, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much what I would call clean coming out of the engine. Now, I do run the synthetic, the Valvoline, 4T motorcycle oil synthetic and hopefully that has helped. All right, I got the lower drain plugs back in. Uh, while I'm down there, I, I look around for linkages. I look for oil leaks, anything in there that may uh, need attention. Uh, go ahead and T9. Now, if you're gonna take and wash and degrease the bike uh, after you do your service, then you should wait to, to T9 everything or, or whatever your favorite lubricant is. Uh, but we're, I'm going to do a light cleaning on this and we're going to keep riding. Um, I probably won't do a full wash and degrease on this thing uh, until maybe next spring. Uh, as long as it's going good, uh, keep it reasonably clean, keep it going. I'm not going to worry about it. Now I did use a Wix uh, 57207 oil filter. 
And this one's white. The Euro one was black. Uh, this one's white. Uh, if that bothers you, uh, get some black spray paint and hit it. All right, I've put two quarts of oil in the engine, which is 64 ounces. Uh, it calls for 68, so that leaves me four ounces short. And for the transmission, uh, I use this uh, funnel to get to that top fill plug. Just plug it in there and then it's got one quart in it right now and it calls for 34 ounces. So we're just uh, a little bit short there, but we're going to top that off. All right, pulling the branch pipe off here. Now this one has already, I put this on not too long ago and it's already starting to come off again. And if I tighten this clamp even more, it makes it worse. It's like it pulls it off. So I try to force it on as far as I can and lightly tighten the clamp. And at first I thought my foot was actually hitting this. So I was real careful not to hit it with my foot. The one on the right side did the same thing. Uh, it would come off over time. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, despite tightening it, it just comes right off. And then as soon as it slips off, the clamp goes loose. Uh, again, if I put the clamp right up here on the edge and really tighten it down, which was my first solution, it just pushes it off while you're still tightening it. You know, pull the air cleaner out, uh, air filter. It is dirty on the inside, so we do need to clean that up. It's a K&N type, so we'll wash it down, clean it up, oil it, and put it back. And... All right, we're getting down to the short rows on this. We got the air filter cleaned and re-oiled. We got the new branch pipes on. They fit much better on the carburetors. You put them on there and they stay. The other ones you push them on, they kind of work their way back off by themselves. Uh, we got the engine oil topped off, um, transmission fluids topped off. I've, I have gone over it with a rag while I was checking and tightening all the nuts and bolts and oiling with T9, all the little connectors, I, I gave it a good kind of a wipe down. You can see it looks a little bit better. Not a wash, just a wipe down. Check for oil leaks. Well, I think that's about it for today. Uh, we got a rainstorm that moved in. It's getting on into the afternoon. Uh, did get a lot done though. Uh, the bike's all serviced up. The only thing I got left to do is the timing and balance the cards. What I'll probably do is just wait on balancing the carbs and doing the timing until I finish the same service on the patrol. Uh, it's sitting back here waiting. And when I get it, uh, I had to pull them out and swap them, bring it to the front. I'll do everything I just did to uh, the tourist. Pretty much everything. It's, it's on a different service interval, so I'm not sure what the list says yet. But whatever it needs, it'll get done. And then I am gonna adjust the timing and balance the carbs on it as well and uh we'll just have to wait for another uh another day to do that i don't want to push them out and get everything soaking wet and get the floor wet and then lay in it so but it's been a good day i enjoy getting out here and just tinkering and it, it's relaxing and sometimes i just need that it's nice to shut down the shop and just tinker on the bikes it's quieter anyway all the machinery running you can't hear yourself think uh, that's why I don't do videos out here when the machinery's running. You can't hear anything. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, just like it cleaned up pretty good. So, until the next one.